well, again, I'm, I'm using this asterisk to indicate that we're focusing on this angle down here. Can you please try to pause the video and label the hypotenuse, the adjacent side, and the opposite side when we're focusing on this angle down here? Label the hypotenuse, adjacent, and opposite sides like we did for this triangle. Well, the hypotenuse is opposite to the right angle. Uh, now, this horizontal side is adjacent to theta, and this vertical side is opposite to theta. Uh, so those are our answers. Pause the video and try to label the hypotenuse adjacent and opposite sides for this triangle. Again, we're focusing on this angle down here. Here's the hypotenuse opposite to the 90 degree angle. Now it's the vertical side that's adjacent to theta, and it's the horizontal side that's opposite to theta. So I hope that um, you haven't been uh, lulled into thinking that the adjacent side is always horizontal. In this triangle, the adjacent side was horizontal, and in this triangle, the adjacent side was horizontal, but in this triangle, the adjacent side was vertical. So um, you can't just memorize which side is adjacent, you have to figure it out for each triangle. Uh, in this triangle, the adjacent side uh, is vertical. Just by looking at it, we can see that that's the side that is adjacent to this angle that we're focusing on. Please label the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent sides for this triangle. Here's the hypotenuse opposite to the 90 degree angle. Here's the side that's adjacent. It's adjacent to this theta angle that we're focusing on. And here's the side that's opposite to theta. By the way, why am I focusing on this angle and not on this angle? Well, just because I feel like it. Um, if we decide to focus on this angle, then this is the side that's adjacent. If we decided to focus on this angle, things would be different. But for the time being, I decided to focus on this angle. Label the hypotenuse adjacent and opposite sides. Now notice that now notice that I really just recopied this triangle over here. I just recopied the triangle. Um, only now I've decided to give names to both of the angles. Uh, we already knew that this angle down here was being called theta, and now I've decided to call this angle up here alpha. Let's call this angle up here alpha. Uh, now these are really two pictures of the same triangle. Uh, in this picture on the left, I decided to focus on theta. But now I'm going to put the asterisk up here. Suppose that I want to focus on alpha. If I want to focus on alpha, where are the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent sides? Well, please pause the video and label the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent sides when we're focusing on alpha rather than theta. The hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degree angle. Uh, now, now it's the vertical side that's adjacent to alpha. Can you see that this vertical side is adjacent to alpha? We know that now we're focusing on alpha. Why are we focusing on alpha? Well, just because I told you to. In this picture, I told you to focus on theta, and I reminded you of that by putting an asterisk next to the theta. And in this picture on the right, I asked you to focus on alpha, and I reminded you of that by putting an asterisk on the alpha. We can focus on whatever angle we please. Uh, if we focus on this angle, then now this side is adjacent, because it's adjacent to the angle that we're focusing on. And now the horizontal side is opposite. This angle is opposite to alpha. Well, if you compare these two triangles, you can see that it makes a big difference which angle you're focusing on. These are really the same triangle with theta and alpha, but when we focused on theta, the horizontal side was adjacent. And when we focused on alpha, the horizontal side was opposite. 
Or when we focused on alpha, the vertical side was adjacent. But when we focused on theta, the vertical side was opposite. The one thing that doesn't change is the hypotenuse. Because remember, the hypotenuse is just opposite to the 90 degree angle. Well, it doesn't matter which of these two angles we're focusing on. The 90 degree angle isn't moving. So the hypotenuse was the same in both triangles. But the opposite and the adjacent sides have switched. All right, now you can see why I've tried to be careful to put an asterisk in to remind myself of which angle I'm focusing on. It's very important to know which angle you're focusing on or you're going to get the opposite and the adjacent sides mixed up. Um, who's adjacent and who's opposite totally depends on which angle you're focusing on. So you need to put in this asterisk so you can remember which of the angles you're focusing on. Now I have a right triangle and I'd like you to focus on alpha. I put this asterisk in to remind you to focus on alpha. So please write in the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent sides. The hypotenuse is opposite to the 90 degree angle. This side here is clearly adjacent to the asterisk. And this side here is opposite to the asterisk. This is the same exact triangle as before, but now I'd like you to focus on theta. This is the same triangle as before, but now I'd like you to focus on theta. So now focusing on theta, please uh, label the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent sides. While focusing on theta, the hypotenuse is the same as before, opposite to the 90 degree angle, but now it's the horizontal side that's adjacent to the asterisk now, and it's the vertical side that is opposite um, to the asterisk. I hope you can see that I'm using HYP as an abbreviation for hypotenuse, and I'm using OPP as an abbreviation for opposite, and I'm using ADJ for an abbreviation for adjacent. I hope that you can read that this is supposed to be an abbreviation for adjacent, ADJ. Well, again, you can see it makes a big difference where we put the asterisk. These two triangles were identical to each other, but when we put the asterisk down here, the vertical side was labeled adjacent. But when we put the asterisk up here, the vertical side was labeled opposite. So it's really helpful to use an asterisk to help you keep in mind which angle you're focusing on. Even if both angles have names, you might only be focusing on one of them. In this case, we named both angles. We named this angle up here uh, Mr. Beta. And we named this angle down here Ms. Alpha. Uh, but even though both of them had names, um, only, uh, we were only focusing on one of them at a time. So we had to use the asterisk to indicate which one we were focusing on. Here's a right triangle. I've labeled alpha and theta, and I'd like you to focus on alpha. I'm using the asterisk to ask you to focus on alpha. Please draw, um, please label the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent sides. Here's the hypotenuse opposite to the 90 degree angle. I hope you can see that this leg is adjacent to the asterisk, which is what we're focusing on and that this leg is opposite to the asterisk. Of course, if I had asked you to focus on theta, the opposite and the adjacent sides would have switched places, but the hypotenuse would be in the same place. 